Welcome back to Make Your Play. In this video, I'm going to get a Commodore VIC-20 hooked up to a VGA monitor, so stick around. The Commodore VIC-20 was my first computer as a kid, so leave a comment below and tell me what your first computer was. Two years ago, I went out on eBay and ordered another Commodore VIC-20 just for the nostalgia of having one. But it took me a couple years to actually get it hooked up in, in a usable state. The biggest hurdle I had was the Commodore 21 using an RF modulator to hook to a TV via the coax input. And I don't have any TVs in my house anymore that the RF modulator would work on. Doing some research online, I learned that Commodore Rick 20 actually has composite video out on it. It's that composite video that goes through an RF modulator to feed into a TV. So based off of that knowledge, I was wondering if I could actually take the composite video and feed it into a composite video to VGA adapter to hook into a VGA monitor. So for this project, I purchased this video to VGA converter off of Amazon for about $20. So that allows me to actually take the VGA monitor and just plug it into the VGA output on the converter. But then I still had to get a cable to go from the VIC-20 into the video converter. The cable that came with the VIC-20 was hardwired into the RF modulator. But I was able to cut that cable loose from the RF modulator, wire onto it a regular RCA jack for the video, as well as an RCA jack for the audio, and then take the RCA video jack, feed it into the video converter, which then gives you the signal to feed into the VGA monitor. In this video, I'll show you how to wire up the cable to feed in the video to the VGA converter. And that'd be it. It'd be awesome. The Commodore VIC-20 comes with a video cable that has a five pin DIN plug on one end and RF modulator box on the other. We will need to cut the RF modulator off so that we can replace it with RCA plugs. The user guide that comes with the VIC-20 provides pin diagrams for the ports on the Commodore. Here we can see the pin out for the audio video port. For video, we just need to connect the RCA plug to two of the pins of the audio video port, ground and video. Ground is hooked to pin two, but there are two video pins for video low and video high. In some versions of the VIC-20, the video low pin had a low pass filter applied, but in later versions of the VIC-20, this low pass filter is not present and pin four and five are tied together. It is assumed that this was a cost savings change in the design. In these schematics diagrams, we can see that pin 4 and 5 are wired together. I chose to hook the RCA cable to pin 5 in my case. After cutting off the RF modulator, I used wire strippers to expose the copper wires. Then I used the continuity tester on my multimeter to find which wire was tied to pin 5 and which wire was tied to ground. Ground is pretty obvious as it normally does not have its own insulation. This is true for both the VIC-20 video cable and the RCA plug cable. We take the ground wires for both cables and twist them together. And we take the video signal wires for both and twist them together. I use the continuity tester on my multimeter again to make sure the ground wires are connected and the video wires are connected. I also test to make sure that the ground and video wires are not shorted together or connected to each other. For audio, we do the same thing and hook an RCA plug to pin three and ground the VIC-20 cable. We do not use pin one or four of the VIC-20 audio video cable. Now that we have our cable wired together, I use my soldering iron to solder the connectors in order to make the cable more durable and I also use some heat shrink tubing to insulate the connections to prevent shorts and add a little more strength to the cable. Now it is just a simple task to plug our homemade VIC-20 video cable into the Commodore and into the video in plug on the video to VGA converter. Then we plug in the VGA cable and power on the converter. Then we cross our fingers and power on the VIC-20 and hope we don't start a fire. I must say I was pleasantly surprised that the VIC-20 video output looked as good as it did on the VGA monitor. I was not sure if hooking the RCA plug directly to pin 5 was going to be all it took and even if it was all that it took, if the signal was going to be noisy or weak. Now that we got the video hooked up to the VGA monitor, the first thing I gotta do is enable dark mode theme for this IDE. So we can poke into memory. And change the background to black. 
And let's change the font to white. Very good. Now we have our dark theme enabled. I still need to find an old pair of computer speakers so that I can test the audio output. I still wonder if the audio signal will be strong enough or will I need a pair of speakers that have a built-in amplifier. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button. And if you want, hit the subscribe button as well. It helps to get more awareness of my videos and I really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and tell me what your first computer was. See you in the next video. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you find fun in retro computers. Blah.